The goal and mission of the World Bank Group and International Monetary Fund is twofold, to end extreme poverty and to boost shared prosperity. Jim Yong Kim, the president of the World Bank Group, says the first path to achieving inclusive and sustainable economic growth is laying the foundation for more effective public services, and that's done by improving governance, tackling corruption, accelerating infrastructure investment, lowering real and perceived risks of private investment with fair trade policies for all, and also by creating markets, bringing the benefits of private sector innovation to developing countries. The second path is to invest more and more effectively in people. He's calling on the thousands of government officials, academics, private sector leaders, and civil society members to invest in human development, provide better health care for all, particularly prenatal health care for pregnant women, and resources that will prevent malnutrition in children. Kim says more funds for education are needed that will prepare students for the jobs of the future and the building of social safety nets that meaningfully protect the poor are urgently needed. In today's world, demands for digital competency are accelerating. Low-skilled jobs are rapidly being eliminated. The remaining jobs and those of the future are demanding new and sophisticated skills. The World Bank says it's the world's largest funder of climate-related investments. A recent World Bank study shows that regarding one's aspirations, satisfaction with finances, standard of living, and relative happiness depends largely on where you are income-wise with those you compare yourself to. Keeping up with the Joneses used to be about keeping up with your neighbors. Uh, but it's not only about the Joneses living around you now. Because of connectivity, the Joneses could be living anywhere in the world. Now, we know that uh, uh, connectivity in the developing world has expanded. And, and that's a good thing. Internet access for the poorest 20 percent has nearly doubled since 2009. In Africa, home to 1.2 billion people, 226 million smartphones were Internet connected by the end of 2015. By 2020, that's expected to triple. 750 million Africans will be connected to the Internet. Worldwide, two billion people are living in countries affected by fragility, conflict, and violence. And the World Bank says that terrorism incidents have increased 120 percent since 2012. Again, Jim Yong Kim, World Bank Group President. By 2030, 50 percent of the global poor will live in areas affected by fragility and conflict. We cannot meet our two goals, ending extreme poverty, boosting shared prosperity, unless we tackle the challenge of fragility and conflict. The World Bank chief says it is the moral responsibility of all to do more to help the impoverished lift themselves out of fragility, conflict, and extreme poverty, and to help stabilize the countries they live in and provide hope for the future. Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.